I was born into clean water practically. Um, my dad, David Zwick, founded clean water um, with a bunch of folks back in the early 70s. And I was born uh, after my mom met him in, in can uh, Canvas crew, I believe. And so um, some of my first memories are, are going to rallies with my family, um, having canvassing parties at our house and going into the office and uh, seeing all these folks getting ready to go out door to door, um, seeing campaign buttons around the house. Um, so that would be my, my earliest connection to clean water. And then because of how excited I was, you know, hearing about canvassing all my life, I thought I have to do this. So when I was 18, I joined a, a canvas in the Minneapolis office in 2008, working on the 2008 elections. Do you up in the family that I did with clean water action always around um, and seeing how passionate my dad was about organizing, about making change. And um, it really, you know, instilled those values in, in me. And I also, you know, learning about the environmental justice movements around um, how racism within the environmental movement and how that has held us back from achieving um, important gate, you know, just achieving environmental justice in general, um, really, I think, got me interested and passionate about food and food justice. Going to school, there was a lot of farming around me. So I ended up doing a lot of work with youth and with uh, farming and economic development. And then that led me to an amazing organization in, in New York called Brand Workers that organizes food manufacturing workers in New York City, mostly immigrant workers of color, and supports them to organize their own unions. And I was really excited. I worked there for six years um, and got me really excited about, you know, how all of these different issues can, um, you know, come together and how people can come together to make structural change in our in our economy and that affects our environment, obviously. Um, and yeah, so those are some of the things that, you know, clean water action definitely has influenced me to do. And what are you doing now? And today I am working at a private foundation in New York called the Foundation for a Just Society and supporting the leadership team there. And um, the foundation works on uh, supporting gender justice and LGBTQ led movements around the world. And, uh, you know, this kind of intersectional approach obviously has been informed by all of these experiences, including clean water action. My hope for clean water action over the next 50 years would be to stay grounded in the history of the beginnings of the organization that when I hear, heard them told by my dad over the years were so important to our country and exciting to bring this model of organizing everyday people and um, holding the government accountable and fighting for livable, you know, healthy communities. I would bring that, staying grounded in that type of vision and that type of history, bring that towards the fights of the next 50 years, including obviously climate change, which is going to harm all of us, is already harming all of us, and is so interconnected with, with water um, over the next 50 years. I would hope that we, I can see clean water continuing to build real trusting collaborations and partnerships um, with, with various groups um, working on environmental justice in this country and, and beyond.